What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. We are going to go over the heroes, Villet, Edith, and what's his last name again? Is it Fritzky? Fitzly, not, not Frisky. <laughs> um, we're going to go over these. Uh, like we said, we would. Villet is going to be our first hero. Now, I haven't gone through Edith and Fitzly's. He is called Fitzly, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Jeez. Uh, we're going to go over their skills, how they're looking in the game, uh, what we can expect from them, and do we really, really want them? Um, a lot of people have been talking about Villet today and that she is going to be the most useful, but I have gone over her skills. And I've got to say, she does look very useful, especially for the likes of uh, Ben Austin, that kind of thing, where his basic attack can hit pretty hard. Um, also, another one that's going to benefit from it is Brynhild. So, you know, there are heroes there, and I'm just trying to think of other basic attack big hitters. Um, I can't really think of any off the top of my head. There are some, I'm sure someone in the comments below will go, yeah, this guy, this guy, this guy, so, or this girl, this girl, this girl. So let me know who you think that it is going to be biggest for. But we're going to go over them now. We're going to go over it and see what's up. But first, we're going to go to an Aptoid promotion. It's, you can save yourself a lot of money using code CARZAC5. You can save up to 25% on your purchases in IMR. I strongly suggest you take advantage and save a huge amount of money. And don't forget, there are set discount days where you get more. So watch this little clip now, and I'll see you back here shortly. So she is a legend hero, faction, hidden wave, type, support, and mark is green. Now, her chaotic water ball deals attack damage to a single enemy with a chance to inflict wet too. The puns are getting real, aren't they? We have like Gru with hardwood. We have Santa with coming surprise. There was another one that was quite explicit. And now we have wet, not only wet one, but we have wet two. So very, very wet. Okay. Very, very wet. Um, also confusion too so yeah uh wet basically um reduces the basic attack damage by 20 percent and 40 percent respectively and confused confused is very confusing actually um uh, hang on confused is when casting a skill which needs to mark a main target the main target marks will be switched to a random enemy meaning that they can't target the one they're targeting. Okay, it's not that confusing, is it? But it is called confused. Um, yeah. And if an active skill is cooldown will be increased by two turns and can surpass its max cooldown after it is cast. Now, just think for a second. If we're using the likes of Inner or Ben Austin to reset cooldowns and then we're using confusion on top, you know, we're really locking out a certain hero that we want to lock out. So that is very nice in that sense. And that is a basic, okay? That is a basic. I want to see what the chance is on this. I want to see what the chance is on this. But, you know, we'll find out. Water Drop Maze cleanses three layers of damage over time. Debuffs from all allies. That's very nice. Afterward, deals attack damage to all enemies. We need to see the multipliers. With a chance to inflict Confused again for one turn. Now, Sound of Spirals, at the beginning of any ally's turn, grant some Ripple 1 for 2 turns, or grant some Ripple 2 for 2 turns, if they already have Ripple 1. Or restores their health by part of the max health, and removes one random layer of debuff from them, if they already have Ripple 2. Which would be nice, because we're increasing the basic damage by 20% or 40% respectively, and that can work great for, say, Lucifer or Brynhild. I'm sure there are others, I just can't think of any at the top of my head right now. Maybe even Besmog. Yo, maybe even Besmok would be quite nice. Interesting, interesting. Okay, Ocean Waves deals attack damage to all enemies, deducts certain, deducts a certain percentage of max health. There is an error in the writing there. Caps at a certain percentage of Villet's max health from them and triggers sea healing, the effect of which restores all allies' health by 15% of all enemies' deducted health. Sea healing is not affected by healing effect and healed effects. Now, this could be big, big, big heals, mainly in PvE, though. I don't think it's going to be huge for PvP. Is she going to be more based around PvE? I don't know. Maybe she's going to really bring out bring out some of the uh, some of the other heroes that we just don't use because of the basic attacks. So we're going to be looking more at heroes of a high basic attack with this new kind of buff. Let's have a look at our exclusive Spiral Staff, level 1. 
Ocean Waves deals extra 40% attack damage to targets with Confused. Oh, wet. Uh, the HP restoration percentage is increased. This is very nice. This is for Ultimate. Probably gonna really need this to make her doing damage. Uh, level 2 additionally cleanses wet and cold from all allies before casting Water Drop Maze. For every one layer of debuff cleansed, Water Drop Maze has an extra chance, caps at 100%, to inflict Confused. So we have a 100% chance to now inflict Confused. That's going to be nasty. Just one second, what the hell does Cold do? Cold, okay, nice, yeah, bro. Uh, cold reduces the skill damage by 20% and 40%. Now that is huge. That is huge. Okay, uh, same as Resolute, the buff, increasing skill damage by 20 and 40% is massive. She, however, does not have Resolute. Uh, level 3, Confused, Inflicted by Villet, cannot be removed. While Villet survives, any enemy with Confused loses 15% of max health, caps at 45% of Villet's max health after casting active skills, and Sea Healing will be triggered. Wait. Sea Healing. Oof. Wow, so she's going to passively be... Do you know what? Bro, this could be so strong. This could be so strong. I think it was Sliven earlier that was saying about with Brynhild. And now I can exactly see why. With level 3 and a Brynhild, you're, that is crazy. That is crazy. E3, Villa is going to be very, very, very strong, in my opinion. In my opinion. Uh, I want to see some multipliers on her first as well, but she's going to do some really nice buffs. And this healing is crazy, especially passively like this. And that confusion, not being able to target a certain hero, that also is massive. Okay, so Villet looks solid. And I want a Villet. I want a Villet. And, you know, she's a mermaid. Mermaids can be... Or is she a siren? I don't know. Sirens can be very confusing. Um, let's move over to Edith. How the devil does Edith look? Okay, what even... Is, is she a... Is she a Naga? Is she a Naga? This looks like a, a Naga. I think that is. I think it is. I think it is. It's like a reptilian kind of lizard man, right? Something like that. I don't know. I'm thinking back in World of Warcraft here. Anyway. Quality legend, faction hidden wave, type attack. Mark is blue. Uh, spiritual water ball deals attack damage to a single enemy of a chance to inflict wet two for two turns which again is decreasing that is decreasing the basic attack damage correct yes that is correct water ball attack shoots five magical water balls which prioritize attacking different enemies that's a bit odd i would like that to be more direct similar to gilliman uh, each water ball deals attack damage with a chance to inflict wet two okay maybe you don't because you want everyone to have wet two to decrease that okay that may be okay passive is under tow edith cannot land a crit meanwhile part of edith's initial crit rate under 100 percent will be converted to piercing rate and part of edith's initial crit damage over 150 percent will be converted to skill damage bonus why the hell is no one talking about edith uh concentrating water ball deals attack damage to all enemies a few of the enemies the higher the damage dealt bro i don't even care i don't even care she's gonna be nuts she, if these multipliers are big enough, she will be nuts to. Wait, wait, I need to read this right. She cannot land a crit, that's fine. Meanwhile, part of Edith's initial crit rate under 100%. Okay, so we can't go over the 100%, but we can, we can effectively ignore pretty much all defense. How easy will she nuke, say, Brenhild? Can she nuke? Brynhild, she can. Okay, interesting. But the fact is here, we're going to have piercing rate ignored, or so ignoring defense, that's massive. But not only that, we're going to be converting the crit damage over 150 into skill damage bonus. That is massive. Now, if, if, oh my god, how big is this spiritual, how big is this basic attack going to be? They brought this new buff in, buffing up basic attack. How strong is this basic attack going to be? I think that's the big question we need to ask right now, is how big is spiritual water ball going to be? Because if that basic attack is strong, she is going to freaking nuke. Mark my words. Mark my words. I really hope they give her a big basic attack, because I would love, 
I would love to see Catherine counterattack on Edith and she just ripping through targets. That would be so good. That'd be so good. Uh, concentrating Water Ball. Deals attack damage to all enemies. The fewer the enemies, the higher the damage down. That's also very good. You know, we have enough AOE clearing. This means... Oh. I like this. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. I really like Edith. I think Edith is going to be nuts. Okay, let's go for our exclusives. Level 1, Water Ball Attack has an extra 30% piercing rate if it wasn't enough. If the magical water balls attack the same target continuously, the damage dealt each time is 115% of the previous one, meaning it goes up. So you need a bit of RNG there as well. Level 2 grants Edith Resolute 2 for one turn after any hidden wave allies except Edith cast active skills. That is going to increase her skill damage by 40%. If she has a huge... I'm telling you now, Edith is going to be absolutely freaking insane with someone who has very strong gear. Oh my goodness. Level 3. Concentrating Water Ball deals <laughs> extra damage by 40% of damage dealt by concentrating Water Ball to the main target. Why is no one talking about Edith? Or if they are, I apologise. I'm sorry. Edith looks insane. Edith looks absolutely insane. I'm telling you now. Villet and Edith together is going to be a crazy combo. It's going to be a crazy, crazy, crazy combo. Wow. Okay. Fitzley. Fitzley. I need them. I need them. I need them. Uh, Fitzley. Epic. Hidden Wave. Attack. Blue. Water combo. He is... Is he a Naga as well? He's ears. I don't know. He's a reptilian kind of thing. Uh, water combo. Deals two stages of attack damage each to a single enemy with a chance to inflict wet one. Water impact. Deals attack damage to a single enemy with a chance to inflict suffocated for two turns. Okay, what is suffocated again? Unable to launch basic attacks, pursue and attacks and counter attacks. That's really nice, but it's only a single target. Mm. The chances increase of a target is under wet status. This suffocated effect cannot be blocked nor cleansed. That's huge. That's huge. Okay. We can pinpoint someone. That may be very good, actually. Uh, water nutrition, while Fitzley has ripple, increases self leech. So he's going to have a lot of healing. Flow fluctuation grants self ripple two for two turns and counter attack for three turns. Afterward, acts for one turn immediately. Hmm. I need to see his multipliers. How good is it going to be? Level 1, Flow Fluctuation. Uh, additionally, inflicts Wet 1 on all enemies for 2 turns. Nice. Level 2, when Water Combo deals damage to targets with Wet, each stage additionally deals extra attack damage. This damage ignores defense. He has a possibility of being okay. Level 3, each time Fitzley casts Water Combo, grants self one layer of Power of Flow up to 6 layers. When casting Water Impact, consumes all layers of Power of Flow, with each layer dealing extra attack damage. We need to see the multipliers on Fitzley. I think he could be good. I've, I've, I'm I've, telling you, I think these heroes are going to be nuts. I, I haven't seen anyone rant, ranting about Edith. If you read this, that is insane, paired up with, paired up. Paired up with Villet, that is freaking crazy. The fact that the, the fewer the enemies, the higher the damage dealt, that could be massive, uh, depending on who we're pairing her with as well. Because it means we can single target nuke with an AoE skill, um, ignoring all defense and getting a boost on our skill damage bonus too. Again, extra damage here from this. And Resolute 2 on top as well is going to be freaking crazy because that's an extra 40% skill. Basic attack. I want to see how this happens. Guys, I'm... Oh, wow. Wow. I'm impressed. I am actually impressed. I really like these heroes. I should have made this video much, much sooner. So I apologize that you've been waiting. And I hope that you take your time to watch my description of these heroes. Because I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty, pretty sure these are all going to be insane. Maybe the epic could be a little bit iffy, but I still think it's going to be a solid, solid epic. We'll find out. We have to wait and see for the multipliers from your actual description in-game. So, I'm Carl Bull. Thank you for watching. Take care. Have a great day, evening, wherever you are. Be good.